we want to find Earth-like planets around sun-like stars, because that's our best chance of finding a world with life on it. Today's the day that the truck carrying the new instrument has arrived. Over the next couple of days, we'll start integrating the whole system together. But the first step is to actually get here, and today the instrument got here. The instrument is a radial velocity spectrometer. It measures to very high accuracy the wobble of a star as a planet goes around it. We are trying to do this, the level of sensitivity more than anything that exists at the moment. What we're really gunning for is one of the most precise measurements of a frequency in astronomy. And I'm hoping we can get down to the point where we're really, we're really probing the limits of the star and nothing else. The idea with NUID is really develop something that is so stable that you're purely dominated by stellar astrophysics. Not only will it detect planets and, and measure masses of known planets, but you can try for direct detection of planetary photons, so that you can try to disentangle the very small uh, reflected light signature from the planet itself. Instruments like NUID present the first capability for being able to do it. One of the things NASA wanted was an instrument that could actually help the community follow up test objects. I think it'll be a very valuable resource for confirming test planets. So test provides the one half, and NUID I think will do a wonderful job providing the masses for a lot of these confirmed planets. Another goal for NUID is to identify potential targets for JWST, because JWST will open the doors to characterizing these planets by actually looking for atmospheres and images. And so it's very important that you find the right ones to spend time with the telescope.